Justin Long grew up in Grandview and now has family living near Truston Lydia here in Kansas City. And that's where his brother, Cameron Fryer, was arrested yesterday. The FBI tells us that he was arrested for a warrant for a seatbelt violation and has since been released. 41 Action News reporter Tara Hall joins us now live from that neighborhood. And Tara, I know you were there all day yesterday. You've been there all day today. We understand the family of that suspect still not talking, but some of the neighbors there are? Yeah, that's exactly right. So the neighbors are about the only ones talking to us at this point. Now, we've been out here since the early hours of this morning, right in front of this house, which police believe is related to that suspect who killed those officers down in Baton Rouge. And while we've seen multiple family members going in and out of the home, none of them have allowed us to talk to them. The police cars and crews are long gone, but still their presence remains. I'm like, and I'm saddened by what happened. I'm like, that's crazy, though, to even find out that it had a connection to Kansas City, let alone my block. And it's not just the police tape. You kind of never know who's living next door to you. Terrence Horde says Sunday's investigation near East 77th Terrace and Troost left a mark on his normally quiet neighborhood. He watched as police searched a home they believe is connected to Baton Rouge shooter Gavin Long. Scared? I don't know about scared. I mean, it was enough officers to make me feel safe, definitely, but uh, alarmed? You know what I mean? A little extra cautious. While police presence is now gone, this family and others say it'll take a long time before things truly get back to normal, not only for this neighborhood, but also the nation. The disconnect between police and the average citizen is way greater than it was when I was growing up. You know, we actually knew policemen, you know what I'm saying? They knew us, you know, so I don't know. Now, we've spoken to multiple neighbors on this tree-lined street. Some of the most compelling stories, though, are coming from the kids. Now, some of them told me that they aren't exactly scared, but they are worried about what the implications will be of this shooter right here in Kansas City and how that could end up impacting not only their lives, but also the neighborhood. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, I'm Tara Hall, 41 Action News.